What's up guys, I'm here with Smash, the greatest Predator player in the world. Introduction to Predator, please. I mean, I think that Predator is best up close. I think uh, his movement is pretty awful. The only real uh, silver lining to his movement is, is his forward dash. But in terms of playing neutral with forward dash, it's not that awesome. The only thing it lets him do is get up close really fast. So again, he's really, he really wants to be in your face, which is why I think he's best in Hishku 10. But either way, we'll we'll go over all the uh, the variations. Uh, let's just go into his basic pokes. Down one is start up eight, minus four on block, 14 hit advantage. Is it good? Down one is fairly spammable. Just because it's minus four, like. You shouldn't, uh, unless somebody has a really good mid and they're enforcing it on you. If they're trying to do highs after this, you can totally, you can just spam the shit out of this if you want to. Alright, so it's, it's average then. Yeah, it's not amazing, but it's definitely nice. Only uh, issue is that down one's probably not going to be what you use up close, just because it's not as fast as down three. Alright, down two. 11 frames, minus 18. Yeah, good luck using that. That's the worst button I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> okay, down two, do not use. Down three. Yeah, down three, seven frames. I forget exactly how minus it is. Alright, I'll check. Down three, seven minus frames, six. minus six, plus 12. On hit, advantage. Yeah, so down three is just faster than down one, so... You should probably be using this most of the time. So you're saying this and is the main poke? Yeah. If you hit a down three, pretty much like every character's pokes, almost every character's pokes, if you hit this, you can always enforce this mid. Um, so, like, if you hit this and then you do forward one, uh, we'll get into that later, but you can potentially get more plus frames off of forward one. But if you're trying to do a high and they're poking under you, you'll always be able to enforce this mid. They can't poke under that. So down three is just a solid button. Down four. Let me check the data on this. Down four is eight frame startup. That's fast. Minus 13 on block, 16 advantage on hit. Yeah, so down four is kind of your best friend. It is minus 13, but um, I mean, another reason I think Hishku 10 is so good is you can, you know, you get the plasma cancels in that variation, so you can cancel after it, throw a disc, do straight laser, do down laser, do EX laser. You don't just have to sit here and do this raw, because it's minus 13. I mean, it's mm. it's fast, it has range, but it's pretty horrible. So use it at range, but since if you use it up close, it's death on block. Is that what you're saying? Um, pretty much no one will punish it punish you for it unless you're playing like somebody with a super good forward advancing mid and like they know the matchup they might but okay so mostly it's just it's not gonna be your turn like if you do this you're definitely blocking after all right so don't use down two don't use down one down three down four down three up close down four yeah, from these are your distance friends. these are pretty much half of your good buttons are these okay one thing I've noticed with uh, Predator's pokes, that you don't get much advantage to jail. Is that a problem in his other variations? Because you don't have laser? Um, well, you can't really jail anything, but you can, um, well, I guess, no, yeah, you can. Um, you can, like, enforce a mid, which is pretty typical of every character. So, it's not really a problem. Like, this is plus enough to be able to do a mid after. If you're not playing Hitch and you have the laser, that's what you should be doing, up close. Yeah, I mean, and that's even universal. If I hit you with down 3 with Hitch 10, I'm... I'd rather be doing highs because they're just better buttons. But if you're poking, then I can totally enforce this and you'll get hit by it. Hmm. This dude's doing straight! 
Wow. So let's go into strings. Let me see. Uh, one, two, two. All right. Yeah, what, one, two, what are you two doing? is super good. Is it neutral? I feel like it's yeah, it's neutral on block. So it's neutral and it gives you pushback if you don't mind blocking from it. Gives you pushback too, like right into that down four range. So this is just super good universally. I mean, puts you at NJP range, down four. You can do it, and then if people are respecting, go up and do something else. Hmm. Just a genuinely good string. So, if they block, poke. Yeah, you definitely can. Yeah. And I mean, even that is it confirmable? If the okay. first or second hit of this hits. You'll you'll see it. You'll be able to confirm into the launcher. Mm -hmm. um, the only problem with that string and even his mid, this is just a universal universal predator problem. Um, say like with Hishku Ten, I want to do standing three laser. You can armor through that, and that kind of it sucks because you can also armor through one two and two one. So pretty much half of my options you can just armor through if you're crouch blocking. This only works if you're crouch blocking for uh, for these two strings. So if I'm blocking, I can armor through them? Is a gap? Yeah. Okay. So that's just, it's a bit annoying that his mid has a gap. But only if you're his, crouch blocking? And his standing one. Yeah. And so his standing one. It's just, is... it's a little upsetting that there's an OS for all of those. But that also means you can bait things, and also not everybody's gonna expose that. It's yeah, like, no, no one is gonna know that. It's relatively risky. Like, <laughs> some people do, and it definitely becomes a mind game. But I mean, you can't armor through this, so this is you'll you'll always have to respect this. Okay. So it is risky to do, but it can definitely be annoying if if you're uh, abusing those strengths too much and they realize it. Next string back one two. Um, well, that that string is that's upsetting because it's actually not that awful of a mid, but it's actually punishable on block for some characters. I don't think Predator can. I guess so. It's minus eight, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, some characters can punish that. Um, so... it's not that useful of a mid. You're better off just doing right. down four, honestly, in that range. Forward one two, then there are two different enders. Up yeah. two and down yeah. two. So the the up two is a universal launcher, meterless launcher. In Hishku ten, you can meterlessly um, extend it easier. So you can do it um, mid down laser right here. Uh, in his other variations, even variationless, you can just do uh, this launcher. But then of course you have to spend bar. Mm -hmm. But um, universal launcher, it's minus three on block yeah um this this ender sucks though don't worry about this one uh, don't ever use a low yeah. there's no way to have like a mix off of it and it's punishable on block it's completely useless so one is a launcher that's safe and next one is a low that does nothing next string two one two yeah, so the two one part neutral on block. Yeah, Again, there is that gap in it if you're crouch blocking, but it is risky to try to, you know, try to armor through that every time. So this is a very useful strain in every single one of his variations because it's neutral and it's a mid. So you you pretty much have to respect it. Um, characters can obviously challenge you since it's neutral, but. Having that be a launcher and be neutral is very good because you can hit confirm that into the full string, even though it's minus 23. If you hit confirm it correctly, you'll never do it on block, so you'll never get punished for it. Next string, for 212. Yeah, so this string is more useful in Hishku 10, and even in that variation, I know I'm talking about that variation a lot, but it's by far the best. 
Um, even though Warrior's pretty good. But HQ10 can do more with this just because he has the cancel. But um, it's it's not bad. If you have a discount, like, and they're respecting it, you can go into this string. And, I mean, you could shimmy people with it. But, um, I wouldn't say it's something that you should use a lot in his other variations. Back, 2-2, two, two, down 2. Yeah, so that Ender is plus 2 on block, I believe. I really yeah, it, it is. Um, there is a gap in that, though. If you wanna, yeah, if you wanna backdash after that. And Predator right, backdash? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. You have to use those invincibility frames with Predator just because his backdash doesn't go that far. But um, you can also armor through it, so. Fish. The only thing with that string, um, you can definitely abuse this against more casual players, but if you try to do that string to me, like, if I'm just ducking in neutral, like, I can just poke under it all day. Okay. <laughs> not really gonna be able to do anything. <laughs> so. But that's because you have a good poke. That... What if a well, character, any character doesn't? Well, can just OS it though. Um, if you're just like, see if I even use like down three. All right, let me. Let me... Like, I'll just kind of go okay, under okay, it because okay. your hurt box is advancing towards me into my poke range, and I'm just going under your normal. So. Good. Yeah. Good string, but be careful how you're using it. If you have the disc out, just like everything, you can make it a mid. But, um, other than that, you know, if you're playing somebody good, they're, just, they're not just going to hold it all day. Uh, three, two, one plus three. So that is a good ender. It's, um, it's a good ender if you want to go for damage. If you um, if you're trying to get a setup, which you should be doing more often, then I would end with the hard knockdown forward four. So then you can get your disc out, start your shenanigans. But uh, if you're just going for raw damage, then this ender's good, and it's decently plus on knockdown. I don't remember how much. Plus nine. It's okay. Back tree one one. Yeah, so this is one of your only things that doesn't have a gap. So like this doesn't and then this doesn't. But um this is obviously a high and this is really slow. So if this doesn't have a gap, they have to hold this. They can't like OS it like these strings. Or standing through laser with hish. Um only thing is this is actually super punishable on block, so other than in HQ10 and in Warrior, um, not all that useful. But you don't have to end the string, you're like. Or... Yeah, you can not end the string for sure. But um, in HQ10 and Warrior, you can use that whole string. It gains you a lot of meter. Um, it's not punishable, it's hit confirmable. Back tree down two. I've never seen anyone use this. I've seen people use it in Hunter to do uh, the trap setups. Other than that, it's not useful. Super punishable. It um it goes through the same block pattern that you would always block with Predator. Low overhead low. And then if you see one two, you go to overhead. So. So as for the trap setups. Yeah, that's really the only use for it. That is what makes us special. Stealth. No uh, uh, less chip damage. Yeah, I've uh, I've used stealth before, but never really in a serious manner. Because uh, the but... only way you could really ever uh, use it here, let me take it off, is by doing a knockdown and doing the stealth. But uh... you'd much rather go for a disc after knockdown because one of predator's problems is that his like oki game on people's wake up is pretty bad unless you have the disc out then it's really good so i don't know why i just messed that up 
you have the disc out, then I can enforce a lot of things. Um, so yeah, the, the cloak is not very good. Smart disc, back forward, two. Yep. It's another one of your best friends. One of his best things. People can, like, get away with it. Certain characters can do it easier. Um, like, when the disc is coming at you, people, like, jump back, or they'll teleport, something like that. Or even, like, slide if they have the move like that. Uh, it's a little tricky to do, but you can definitely learn how to do it, so... If you're playing against really good players, they'll probably be avoiding it better than other players. But um, even if they are, it's it's forcing them to kind of respect that it's out there. It goes away on block though. How yes, important is that? Um, well, if you block my down four and I do disc, because that's, you know, down four is kind of awful on block. so. You kind of want to throw a disc out, so they'll have to respect after down four. But if they block that, I mean, I'm not going to be able to enforce anything. In fact, you can just come right in. Say so you just punish me for it. Do um do back two after I do disc. Yeah, you're in. I can't really do anything, and other characters can just punish it. In fact, you could probably punish it after it. Do a down four disc to me. Yeah, if you're reading it, like, it's definitely a punish. It's but more um, like if you know down four is going to hit, that's definitely a good idea. There are characters, uh, one of your biggest issues with Predator is going to be characters with really good forward advancing mids. You're not really going to be able to enforce disc like that. Because even if I hit you with it and you have a good forward advancing mid, say like Cassie especially, she can just back one and then I'm kind of still holding the same thing. Now, apart from the Sonic Fox combo, is amp is amp disc any useful? Um, it is for certain combos, not really practical combos, but not all that useful. Disc is good, amp disc not as good. Yeah, because disc is kind of doing the same thing as amp disc, but you don't have to same spend meter, so you might as well not. Next move is scimitar stab. Scimitar? Scimitar stab? The launcher. So, you should always be hit confirming to this. Never want to do it blind. Like, I've seen people do 3 2 into stab. It's just a genuinely bad idea. But, um, if you hit confirm something, even this, even though it's a meterless launcher, you can get more damage this way. You can easily hit confirm this. Um, any string really you can extend off of this. So this is your best launcher, but never just do it blindly on block. Also, it's your only armor. Yes, it... true. Not very good armor, but it works sometimes. So would you say that's a problem with Predator? He has no armor? No good armor? Yeah, anybody that's... Um, meeting you correctly and knows what they're doing, they're not really going to get hit by that. It's just too slow, and it only has one hit. Alright, good. But it's a it's your only launcher, so there's that. They do the move, and you can enhance it anytime. Also, you can side switch with it. That's pretty good. The, that isn't to say you can never use it, though. If there's a gap in something, you know, you can use it and then spend two bars to launch. So, it's definitely not useless. Um, only issue is sometimes characters such as like Molina, her 1, 2, 3 strain has a gap, but your armor actually doesn't work. It just doesn't go fast enough. So she can do 1, 2, 3 Psy, she can just block. I mean, she doesn't, she doesn't care about your armor. Uh, or even like Katana can just block after her enhanced DP move. Oh, the only other thing is X-Ray. Is it good? Well, it's good armor, so that's cool. 
you have to spend everything though. So. But as far as like X-rays go, it, it, it's not codal tier or anything like that, is it? Yeah, it's not gonna launch like Sonya or Johnny or anything like that. But I mean, if you're sure it's gonna hit and you need to win the game, you can use it if you want. It's perfectly mediocre, is what you're saying. That's all his special moves, I guess. But before you go into variations, rank the variations best to worst in your opinion. Uh, best to worst, Hishku Ten Warrior Hunter. Absolutely positive. Okay, and rank them in difficulty to use. Um, Hishku Ten is the hardest to learn for sure. I mean, I'd, I'd say it's all around the hardest to use. It's definitely just easier in terms that it's better. So if you do learn it, you're going to have an easier time winning games, that's for sure. Uh, Warrior isn't too bad to learn. It's actually pretty good, but um, definitely not as good as HQT. Hunter shouldn't be too hard to learn, but it's definitely going to be hard to win against anyone good. It's, it's not a very good variation. Maybe not completely awful, but... It's not awesome.